Hi everyone, Jesse with CreateJoy here, and today we're going to set up a custom domain for our CreateJoy store. You can see we're already logged into our CreateJoy dashboard, and to access our custom domain, we'll head over to the left-hand menu and select Settings. Under Settings, we'll select Domains. And here's our domains page. You can see the store name and the CreateJoy URL at the top. In this case, we're working on a fictitious craft subscription called Foxes and Ferns, and below that you can see the custom domain field. The first thing we'll want to do to fill this out is actually purchase a custom domain. We suggest getting your custom domain from Namecheap.com. Here's the Namecheap homepage, and this is where we'll search the domain that we'd like to purchase. We'll enter foxesandferns.com, and then hit enter to search the domain. If the domain's available, we'll hit add to cart, and then we'll click view cart. And this is your cart page. This is where you can decide if you'd like to pre-purchase the domain for a multiple year period. You can toggle some privacy protection and you can add some additional options and features. Once you've decided your package, click confirm order and you'll go ahead and complete checkout. With the domain purchased, you'll now be logged into your Namecheap dashboard. On the left hand menu, select domain list. Once you've located your new domain, select manage. From here, you'll want to select Advanced DNS. This is where you can see your host records, and this is where we'll link our domain to our CreateJoy store. Under Host Records, you'll want to select Add a New Record. Choose Record Type A. Under the Host field, enter the at sign. For the IP address, enter the value 174 dot one two nine dot two five dot one seven zero under the TTL field choose 30 minutes and then hit the check mark to complete once you've added this record you'll want to add another host record this time select C name record under the host field choose www under the target field Add the words lb.cratejoy.com. Under the TTL field, select 30 minutes. And then hit the check mark to save your selections. Once you've completed adding your two new host records, navigate back to your CrateJoy domain settings. Under the custom domain field, enter the new custom domain that you've just configured. Then hit save. It can take a few minutes for your new domain to start working, but be sure to clear all your cookies and cache in your browser to load up your new site. You're all set up.